What I love about living here in Florida is my backyard provides me opportunity to see wildlife that I wouldn't otherwise see anywhere else in the world. And you know what? You're lucky too because this episode is about the Florida Scarlet Snake. A good portion of my life has been all about action, which still holds true. But now I pour all that time and energy into wildlife conservation, education, and the pursuit of knowledge. This is Camp Tenor. So it's dinner time and we were getting ready to go on out. Tom's behind the camera. He wasn't really expecting to do an episode and I didn't expect to have an episode over here in what I call the bad side of town on <laughs> at Camp Kennan. This is just a tub filled with some Reeves turtles. But I was coming over here to check out on these guys when I spied this Florida scarlet snake. As you can see, the snake, whoa, the <laughs> snake is not a very good climber, uh, but it's also not a very uh, nippy snake at all. Very peaceful snake, very shy species. These guys are nocturnal, it's dusk. He started to come about, but here's what's funny about this guy. I found him before, but I'll show you where I found him. Come on over here and you'll like this. Now, the first thing you also notice about the scarlet snake here, the Florida scarlet snake, is it kind of looks like a coral snake. And to the untrained eye, it certainly could appear that way, but it is not. The bands don't go all the way around his belly. They're not the same color uh, as a coral snake, and they are non-venomous and completely a benign animal. But what, about a few months ago, and you can go back on my Instagram, uh, I was looking through my egg box here, all right, let's just mix this up a little bit. This is my Reeves turtle nesting box. Now watch this. Watch him disappear. So this is what's so cool about the Florida scarlet snake is I opened this up, I start looking for eggs and I noticed the sand moving and I got freaked out and I saw that coloration. And even for me, quickly I thought, oh my gosh, is there a coral snake in here? Watch this. Look at this. Look at this. Watch him disappear. So I found him in here. Now, why would he be in here? Well, it has to do with what they eat. These guys eat small lizards, other small snakes, and reptile eggs. So he must have smelled the turtle eggs in here and thought he'd get himself a nice little buffet of Reeves turtle eggs, and we don't want that. So I dug him out, but look at this, he is gone. Isn't that amazing? This is a burrowing species. They are very secretive, they live underground, um, and you rarely see them. And it was so cool because I actually saw him slithering along the fence line here, and uh, I reached down and grabbed him and he put up no fight. So watch this. Look at this. You can see the ground moving there a little. But we gotta get him out. There's his little tail. Oh, he's over here, look. And there he is. And let me show you how he can burrow so well. Let me show you, I gotta gently pull him out. Let's get him out of here. Okay, we're gonna get a little close up on that upturned, little upturned snout that he's got. And that's what helps him burrow right through the sand and leaf litter looking for a little bite to eat. Really, really incredible little snake here. So this is the Florida Scarlet Snake, a very secretive and beautiful snake. I love finding these in my backyard. We're gonna go ahead and let this guy go somewhere where he's not gonna eat any of my little turtle eggs that I'm trying to raise up. You were being naughty, weren't you? All right, there he is. Good find, huh? Well, there you have a quick episode of Camp Kennan. You learned a little bit about this snake, and maybe one day when you're visiting Florida or if you live in Florida and you see one of these in your backyard, you don't have to freak out. Your parents don't need to freak. Just show them this video. And say, hey, mom, dad, no worries. It's just a scarlet snake slithering around. So let's leave him alone. All right, guys. We'll leave you with some shots of the snake as he slithers away in a nice thicket that I possess in the front yard. I think that'll be perfect. You want to say hello? Thank you. All right, we're off. <laughs>